I'm going to start drawing an Arabian head. The Arabian is a little different because they have a very sculpted face. I'm going to break it down for you into simple shapes. I start with my pencil on its side and I begin an oval. And then uh, sculpt down a couple of lines, almost a triangle type shape, and then make another oval or circle down here at the bottom. And the ears, they are ovally, yet they are triangular. So um, you could start with maybe an up-down motion like this, if you can see that, or you could go an oval. I'm going to just go with an up-down type shape like that and then this ear I'll make it was my dog <laughs> I, I'm going to make an oval and after I make the oval I can come up and come down like this I hear you good girl and then the eye is about here and if I look at straight across I'm going to actually angle it this way. I can make a little bump this way. And there's the beginning of the head. You can already see it starting to form. The nostril is also an oval. And another more collapsed oval on this side. The neck is going to be a curved line down like this. And another curved line like this. With a little angle for the shoulder. Now I'm going to change the grip of my pencil because I'm going to go in for a little more detail. Start with the forehead and go around the eye. I'm adding the skin onto what I would call the bones and the musculature, uh, just as you know, a term to kind of help you to understand. It's not actually the musculature, but it's just the form. And then I'm going to add the lower lip. Um, Here is the nostril, just adding the form of the nostril, and this side is a little more collapsed. Putting the shapes in just kind of helps you to see where, where the placement of the objects are. Forming the ear, this one I'm going to add a little more point because I did an oval on this one I showed you both doing with the shape triangular shape in the beginning and then this one I did the ovally shape I can add some of the hair inside of there giving its jaw now the eye is going to be more of a give it a corner more of a football kind of a teardrop almost shape and I can go in with my eraser and clean up some of these marks. And I'm gonna clean up some of the lines here. Now you're starting to see the head form. I'm gonna start up at the pole and come down a little bit with my line. Now the eye, this one shows some eyelashes in here which I can leave, um, putting in some darkness. to finish the muzzle and I love how soft a horse's muzzle is now you can take your pencil and you can turn it and make a broader stroke you know, add some of your shadowing on here um, getting a little bit of a broader line to move a little quicker um, now the the main 
I want to I want to have this uh, part of its skull sculpted in a little bit more here a little bit for the eye um, they actually the face is symmetrical from one side to the other just showing you you can put that line in or not um, and start to shadow in some of these places so that you can see some of the the veins, the musculature. I think the horse is one of God's most beautiful creatures. And I thought that since, since I can remember when we first got our first little pony and I spent forever drawing him. Um, this horse has a very small muzzle. has a little bit of a, a shadowing along its crest and its back is actually in here. You can put in the hair, you can put hair in in clumps uh, using the side of your pencil if you want. You can also use the point of your pencil. There's no, I don't think there's hard and fast rules. I think the more we practice and experiment, the more we find what, what lights our fire, what we like to do, and add the freedom of it. Uh, the, the forelock is, is flowing. It's wrapping around the horse's head. This horse is running. Um, you can go back in and add some more detailed lines here and there. just want to give the gist of it, the likeness of it. And you can spend as long or as short on these things if you as you want. I, I tend to lose track of time. I get lost in my drawings and in my paintings. I just I just get lost. And that's part of being a right brained person or being in that right brain mode. Now the hair is starting to fold a little bit over here and I'm adding a little bit of a darkness. Don't be afraid of your sketch lines. Sketch lines are fun. They're beautiful. If you ever see Leonardo da Vinci's works, he has sketch lines. They're beautiful. You don't have to erase everything. Um, I just call it going in and cleaning up. I think the sketch lines add life, character. They show, they show you and I think they also show the creature that you're portraying. There's some shadow underneath this horse's neck. You also can see the way the musculature forms around it. There's actually a lighter little line in here. You can pull it out with your eraser if you want to. Uh, I just think you need to have some fun and not be so tight that you can't enjoy what you're doing. And there's a lot of times I'll draw something and I won't particularly like it and I get rid of it and it's just part of life and sometimes part of learning and there's times I you know just am happy to bless somebody else with an image I'll give it away you know I 
it's fun. This is my therapy. I'm gonna also go on the crest and just kind of add a little extra shading here. The horse actually has a few little kinks in the hair. You can have a little fun. Just wiggle your hand a little bit, let it go. Be careful when you're brushing away while you're erasing that you don't smudge. Sometimes smudging is fun though. You can add a little extra excitement. Smudging. <laughs> I used to love when Bob Ross used to say, happy mistakes. I think I could spend hours on this, and I know it, I have. I just want to give you a little quick review on how to draw a horse's face, and I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing this for you. Um, if you would press like on my video, and come back again, and, and we're going to do some more. I have a lot of other ideas. If you have any ideas, please feel free to contact me. I'd love to hear what you'd like to learn. Thanks so much from the Art Stable. See you again soon.